this is a boy Brian here I'm dealing with uh, seven functions of the prophetic ministry I hope I find you well and be blessed by the wisdom that I'm cleaning and uh, releasing to you let this wisdom transform you and catapult you to, to, to great dimensions today I'm dealing with releasing the gifts and the grace of God releasing the gifts and the grace of God under the functions of the prophetic ministry releasing the gifts and the grace of God it is worth exploring the divine truths that it is a function of the prophetic people to release the graces anointings blessings and mental upon others who desperately thirst for it the law of release is such a powerful divine prophetic principle which when tapped into can result in an avalanche of God's power, blessings and anointing from the realm of the spirit into the realm of the natural. And we want to look at a man called Zechariah 10, Zechariah in the book of Zechariah 10 verse 1. And the Bible says, Ask ye for rain in the time of the later rain, and I will give you showers of abundant rain. God is speaking to Zachariah. This is the essence of the law of release. The essence of the law of release. Rain speaks of the anointing, and in the context of supernatural power, this implies that if you need an unprecedented flow, or avalanche of God's powers, you must release it during the right time when the power of God is moving or flowing. So this spiritual law awakens uh, us to the consciousness that it is advisable to release the prophetic when people are ready to receive or when the spiritual atmosphere is conducive enough to unleash or release the prophetic word of God. So the Bible further describes in Ecclesiastics 11 subsection 3 that when clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on earth. Knowing when to release the power is one such a vital key to the flow of the prophetic anointing, the prophetic grace, as well as the prophetic ministry. So that's why Apostle Paul advises in First Timothy chapter 5, subsection 22, that no one must not be quick to lay hands, because at times the anointing might be building up like a cloud or accumulating unto a particular point. So making haste to release the power under such circumstances might not produce expected results. It might not produce expected results. So the expectance level of people somehow is a determinant factor to the law of release. The expectation, that's why we always say expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. So it's good for the atmosphere first to be expected. So as a as as an apostle, as a prophet and as a pastor, you must be in a position to be sensitive enough to know that my people are now expecting they are in expectance. Then when they are in expectance it creates and recollaborates an atmosphere and that atmosphere now will allow a cataclysmal move of the whole spirit and there will be an average release of power from God. You will not struggle, you will not use your effort, but God through the Holy Spirit will be in action and people will walk out blessed. So you only release the power again when your faith level and expectance levels are high. Then you, uh, you have to check the faith level as well and the expectance level as well of your congregants. So these two must augment your faith level, your expectance level, then the congregants 
uh, faith level and expectance level must be high then you release when you release then gifts and the grace of god will be endowed upon the people that you'll be releasing upon so there will be an unprecedented flow of power unprecedented flow and avalanche of the power of the holy spirit uh, thank you so much for listening to this broadcast i hope that when you are going to release power there's gonna be an unprecedented avalanche power of the holy spirit through the release and the grace of god thank you so much god bless shalom this is your boy brian continue to watch share like in jesus mighty name amen